So in the last video, we showed uh, dropping this Dell notebook just on the ground in the house. And I usually don't see many indoor laptop drops. Most of the laptop drops I see are from outside. So we're gonna do two laptop drops outside, one on the grass and one on the concrete. We're gonna do the same, carrying from the side, throw it on the ground like we did in the house, just on the carpet, but this time we're gonna do one in the grass and one in the, uh, and this time we can actually power it up outside because the laptop has a full battery. Uh, once again, this is a laptop that I'm okay with accepting the consequences of it being damaged. So, um, let's drop it. So here we are, hanging along. We're gonna do the grass drop test first because I think it would be the one that inflicts the less amount of damage on the computer. So, walking along, going to class in. So let's carry it back up to the light and let's have a look at the laptop from being dropped. All right, straight away, uh, the optical drive popped open. And what's crazy is I see absolutely no frame damage. Maybe a little grass in the fan, grill, that sort of stuff, but. Let's see, does she still power up? And how's that screen look? Screen looks just fine. So we're gonna power it down. I'm not gonna let it boot up this time, but um, yeah. now comes the moment of truth. Will the laptop survive being dropped on concrete? I really don't wanna do this because, you know, I know this is going to break this laptop, probably to a point that I don't even want to fix it. So the grass drop test, well, didn't break it. As you can tell, I mean, all it did was pop the optical drive open. So we're gonna find us a little bit of concrete here. A good slab of it, because I don't want it to bounce from concrete into the grass and not hurt the laptop. I want this thing to hit concrete. I want to see broken laptop. Well, I really don't want to see a broken laptop. You never want to have a broken laptop. This looks like a good vat of concrete. It's lit too. So, well, the moment has arised where we're going to talk about the consequences of dropping your laptop on concrete. So, now, once again, I paid for this laptop. It's an old laptop. I'm willing to wreak every consequences of this being broken. Just to show you what would happen should you drop your laptop. It's at 10 o'clock at night, which means every neighbor is staring at me. But, well, I'm walking along, going to class. I don't want to fall in this gutter over here, so I'm going to kind of watch out for that. You're walking along, going to class, and well, oh, and a lot worse happened. So let's carry this back up to the house, and I'll show you what happened to the laptop. Because that did not even sound good. I can tell there's some damage to the laptop. So let's go back up to the house and let's see how well the laptop fared that drop. You probably heard it. I didn't point the camera over it. I was too dazed. I really didn't want to do this, this laptop. And let's just have a look at, I see a lot of plastic pieces popped apart here. So like right here, Plastic, a lot of road rash on this machine, a lot of plastic being busted open there. Some pretty severe scratching right there. And this is just external damage. I don't even know if this laptop's gonna run anymore. A lot of road rash. But let's go ahead and pop it open and let's see. To my amazement, the screen still works. But I'm actually going to let it go to a point of being able to boot into XP. And we'll see if that hard drive survived. Now, keep in mind, we're dropping a tough laptop. We're not dropping a piece of junk. But I'm discovering all kinds of popped plastic on this machine. Lots of... I found a crack. There's a crack in the frame right here from hitting the concrete. But overall, 
it looks like she survived. And no real dead pixels. Surprisingly, this screen still holds up. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. Um, I'll show you the crack even closer. See right there, there's actually a crack in the frame, so it means we will be replacing the frame. A lot of structural frame damage this time around. Um, yeah. This laptop just officially met its match. Uh, just a, a lot of frame damage. There's even as far as like some screws missing out of the bottom of this now. Uh, this piece is pretty well busted, so I'd have to buy it. This is part of the hard drive caddy. So you know that hard drive took a pretty dang hard hit. Um, what I would do at this point with this is I would definitely get that hard drive out and get it backed up because you know it's not going to survive. Um, at this point, the, the cost of repair to a laptop, to this laptop at this point, is too much. This laptop would probably cost more to repair than what it's worth. I'm going to probably repair this machine because this is, I have parts for this machine on hand. I'll probably repair this machine and get it back into fighting trim. But, you know, someone like an individual wouldn't have the money to replace this laptop or to replace individual components in this laptop. So they're probably not going to replace it. Whereas, you know, I have parts for this machine because I've worked on two or three of these machines. Um, I think that, you know, again, you want to be real careful with your laptop. Um, never carry it exposed like we just did there to demonstrate these consequences. Um, you know, you might, you know, if a drop arises, you know, look, crap, it really does happen. Uh, this laptop fared out extremely well. There's a lot of case damage at this point. So, um, at this point, I would have to I would have to replace the palm rests, the top case, the screen hinges. There's a lot that has to be replaced, even though functionally, this laptop still fully runs. So. As far as functionality, this laptop pulled out really well. As far as cosmetics, this laptop's trashed. So, um, keep all this in mind when you're buying, you know, when you're buying your laptop. Spend the extra money and buy a case. That case is going to save you a lot better than the repair bill when you drop it. Most laptops I see come in, the screen's gone. You know, we got spared this time because this is just a real strong laptop, but you might not be so lucky. So, thank you guys again for watching. As always, feel free to leave a con uh, comment in the comment box if you have one. Um, no comments about, you know, oh, you just destroyed a perfectly good laptop. I destroyed a perfectly good laptop to demonstrate to you why you shouldn't drop your laptop. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, here's another good example of electronics why you should case it here's an here's a smartphone um why should you case this oh well, i don't know for that except it didn't crack it you got lucky this time i'm gonna try my dangest to crack it here we go that time it did it i think no jesus what kind of phone is this do it again Jeez Louise. Well. If that don't crack it, I know what will. You know, again, you know, case your electronics. There's no sense in you not casing it because it just doesn't make it look good. You know, you're going to drop this thing. And at that point, you're going to be in trouble. So... You know, I'm trying to demonstrate protection of your electronics. You know, there's so many alternatives out there. You know, this is just a cheap smartphone, so I'm not wasting much with this phone. It's, it don't even work anymore, so. That time it did something. See, there's a prime example. There's a perfect example of casing your electronics. 
You know, if this phone did work, I would have to repair that. So, guys, case your electronics. Put screen protectors over your screens. Get those tempered glass screen protectors. You shouldn't risk this uh, device. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.